Hi, guys. John's here. Rose is here. Good morning. Riley's here. Hi. Um, I have the, I have a brand new War of the Roses on the way in just minutes, and I, I want to illustrate something. And uh, for those who go, oh my gosh, people can't be that dumb when it comes to uh, cheating, and well, you know, sure they can. Uh, yes, mm-hmm. and I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and and uh, everywhere else it's called soccer, uh, football. 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 See. Mm-hmm. Um, except here at <laughs> soccer, uh, there was a huge match, against, I guess, over the weekend. And uh, this guy, uh, Muhammad Anas, was being interviewed because he was the man of the match. Okay. Like, it, it was the MVP, you know what I mean? He was yeah. the, mm-hmm. I'm the man of the match. Give me the mic so I can go ahead and thank the peeps. I got to thank because I'm the, the man. Homies. I'm the man of the match. Now, the sound quality is on the best. However, I just wanted to illustrate the point that the man of the match thanked his girlfriend and his wife and then realized what he did. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Oh. The man of the match Ooh. can do that, though, apparently. Right? <laughs> and I uh, appreciate my fans also. My wife and my girlfriend. Yeah, I mean, my wife. Yeah, sorry for saying. I'm so, I'm so sorry, my wife. Listen, I love you so much. I have- I love you so much from my heart. Yeah, I love you so much with my heart. Mm-hmm. Yep. And my girlfriend. Yes, yes, yes. No, I love my girlfriend with another part of my body. However, I love you yes. with my heart. My- and uh, I appreciate my fans also. My wife and my girlfriend. Yeah, I mean, my wife. Yeah, sorry to say. I'm so, I'm so sorry, my wife. Listen, I love you so much. I, I love you so much from my heart. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. God. There you go. Oh, so, Josh, what do you think? War of the Roses. He's not yeah. cheating. Poor guy. Is that just a mistake? You don't say girlfriend if you're married, dude. Maybe they're recently married. Right? That's true. Maybe they just got married. But why would you, you say my wife and my girlfriend? You would have said like, fiance. I hope he's cheating. Uh, uh, for his dumb. sake? Yes. Otherwise, if he's innocent, that would really All suck. Right. Let's get into some quick tea. The headlines you need to know for your Monday. And then, uh, uh, the War of the Roses. All righty. I'd like to thank my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. <laughs> right? I mean, my wife, who I love with, that, with my heart. <laughs> All right, what you got, Riley? Yeah. So I officially can't play Monopoly ever again after this one because I got rid of one of my favorite pieces. They are saying goodbye to the wheelbarrow, the thimble, and the boot. Yeah. No, that was the shoe. That's my favorite. Nobody wanted to be the shoe. I oh, wanted to be the thimble. shoe. Then like the, thimble the thimble and the wheelbarrow. They've been around since 1935, but it was a result of that online vote that Hasbro held in January, and they had 4.3 million voters. And the thing that rifles my feathers even more is what they decided to bring in instead of these. They're bringing in a T-Rex. A rubber okay. ducky and penguins. Sign me up for the T-Rex. Where was the emoji? Cool. Where was like the Zach Morris phone? What happened to that? Look, he, you, you can have the Scotty dog. Fine. We're not fighting over that one anymore. I want the shoe back. I want the shoe back. I want the shoe back. So Disney is releasing a live action Mulan remake, but it's not going to be a musical at all. It's not going to have songs in it at all. It's going to be released next year. And in an interview with Movie Phone, Mulan's director, Nikki Caro, said much to the horror of her children, there's no songs right now, but there could be hope for some in the script later. They're saying, Hmm. It's going to be a girly martial arts epic feature instead that's of cool. a musical. But that, yeah, that part of it is cool. So there's a new class for millennials that can take that's called adulting, basically teaching them how to grow up. Maine psychotherapist and elementary school teacher Katie Brunel started adulting school where for 1999 you can basically learn grown up stuff. There's five categories and some of them include health, home repairs, and cooking. And the teacher said she created it because most people feel like parents are at fault for millennials not knowing how to deal with real life issues because they're shielded too much. I don't think that I want my kid taking an adulting class. I don't... Uh, you, know what I, you know what I mean? So coming up next hour in the T, Sesame Street is introducing a new character that is so inspirational. I'll tell you all that. If you up. have to take an adulting class, I think you should question everything, how you're raised. Well, I, that's what I was thinking. I mean, I, I don't know if I'd be proud of, if my kid had to take an adulting class yes. and, mm-hmm. you know, based on how, to live. How, how I raised them. What, Rose? But there are certain things that they don't necessarily teach you how to do in school. Like? Like, um, Taxes? That's true. I think credit cards should be taught. How to manage money? I'm with you on credit cards. I think totally do credit cards. Oh, yeah, that one got me when I was Do they Do they teach, like, how to balance? I mean, not that anybody balances a check or how to write a check. Yep, they did. They they taught that. They They taught me that in elementary school. Yeah, we had that in a post office and we had it with currency and everything. 
And but do they do it now? Village baby. Uh, there are some adults yeah. that don't. My daughter, no, my uh, my daughters do it. They ha- okay. I actually had to go buy well, them a, a Melissa and Doug. Um, by the way, why does one? Not to go off on a tangent here with Melissa and Doug. I'm sure you're two great, fantastic people. But if you're a parent, you know who Melissa and Doug are. Uh, you don't John, look at John's as, face. As a parent of a dog, I know the not. cartoon. Yes, no, it's not. And, and no, 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 no. D- 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 Melissa and Doug, the line of products that that they sell. At, it's like there's the shopping cart, then there's the Melissa and Doug shopping cart. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes, it's like yes, twice yes. as expensive. And and so they they have these. They have a coin set, and Sophie really wanted it because she's into into currency, and mm-hmm. that's what they're doing in their class right now. And so we got the Melissa and Doug coin set, and so she's, you know, walking around now carrying a purse with Melissa and Doug change in it. Just in case. <laughs> and offers to buy my, uh, you know, when we go out to dinner. That's she'll, nice of her. She'll offer to buy. At least she offers. Yeah, I, I know, but I feel I feel like the server is thinking I'm going to stiff them with well, a fake Melissa I almost and feel Doug. like it'd be cheaper just to give her real money. Uh, it actually might be, to be quite <laughs> honest with you. But uh, your parents know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's get into a brand new War of the Roses. Yes. I want to thank my uh, girlfriend, I mean my wife, I mean my uh, uh, John for this. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he walked off stage and was like, oh, God, I'm such an yep. idiot. Son of a... It's like, where are uh, the divorce papers right now? Oh, yeah. Oh, if God. you need your roses fixed, here we go. Roses are red. Violets are blue. When Cain calls your man, he'd better choose you. Sydney, I'm going to... I'm going to go over these uh, facts very quickly and just kind of, you know, fill in the blanks. You and Patrick don't live together. You have separate apartments. You're in uh, cosmetology school. Uh Uh-huh. And the first thing you notice about a guy when you meet him is what? Definitely his hair and his nails. His hair and his nails. Oh, for sure. Uh, Unfortunately, Patrick's hair and nails are what? Well, they were really terrible. Right. Um, since he's outside a lot, he has his own like landscaping business, so they're pretty rough. But lately, I've been noticing him using my manicure set, you know, that I use for work, um, and he didn't ask me. So now his nails are really maintained, and he's been using my lotion. His feet are softer, um, and this is new. Okay, yeah, that's okay. kind of weird. Is it done on nights? Because in your email, it says uh, he usually does it on nights or weekends that you two don't see each other very often. And you've also admitted to kind of uh, stalking his apartment. Yeah, um, because I thought that was weird. At first, I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. Like, oh, maybe he's taking care of his nails because he knows that's important to me. But it was always on a weekend where I wasn't going to be seeing him. So I kind of would go outside of his apartment. And so I would text him and say, hey, are you home or are you on your way home? And every time he would say yes, he didn't come home. Red flag. So this is, but but here's the thing, Sydney. What were you trying to prove by calling everybody that he's called? There were a lot of numbers on his bill I just didn't recognize. And to me, I kind of felt justified calling them because, you know, I had proof that there was reason to worry. Okay. So. His nails were done. I don't, ever, I don't think I've ever said that on the show. The uh, feet's a weird one, too. Yeah. <laughs> his feet are soft. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, odd. He says he's coming home, never comes home. And then you find these numbers. One of them actually ends up being, a, uh, well, well, first of all, you're calling his friends. So he could he confronted you, because I, I would, too. If, if all of a sudden my friends were getting calls from someone I was seeing, going, hey, why Who is this? Yeah. yeah. Why, why is your girl calling? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? But you actually ended up talking to a woman who said that she's, she was dating him. Oh, well, there's that. What? Exactly. So, yeah, I mean, I came clean about it, but I didn't feel bad because there was a woman that told me that she had been with him and she didn't know who I was or the fact that I even existed. Yeah. Oh. But but that doesn't give you a right to do anything with uh, his stuff. No. To break the law. (laughs) Well, no. No. (laughs) I'm going to assume that she wouldn't break the law and he happened to leave the cell phone bill open somewhere that I mean, that 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 would happen. I'm just saying I don't want to go any farther than that. So let's call Patrick. Um, okay. what, what was her name, by the way, the the one you didn't recognize? Vanessa. Vanessa. Mm. All right. Did the two of you exchange in a conversation about each other? Well, yeah. I mean, I let her know that I was dating Patrick, and she said, wow, I, I had no idea. He never told me anything about you. Um, we've hung out. We've slept together. Oh, um, oh okay. I, and this is all during yeah. the time you've been with him? Right. All right. Then let's call Patrick and see if he sends flowers to Vanessa. We'll do the, the romantic, romantic couples massage as well. And uh, as he commented on her, I mean, did you confront him about her specifically? Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, it was kind of the whole, 
oh, you know, it was a mistake. It's not going to happen again. Oh, and so he admitted to it. Yeah. I mean, I came huh? clean with him going through his things, but he told me that, you know, it was just this one-time thing. It wasn't going to happen again, that, you know, she was crazy and she kept calling him and, you know, so I just... Yeah, it's usually. It. By the way, when a guy goes, "Oh yeah, she's crazy," that's that's game implies guilt yeah. on his part. Mm-hmm. It's definitely. Yeah. Not. Well, good guy logic for you. All right, Sydney, I want you to hang on, okay? I want you to stay quiet for uh, for this because I want to get as much information out of him as possible. If he says somebody else's name other than yours, if he says yours, I'm just going to hang up, pretend like nothing happened. Um, and we'll have a good laugh about this years from now. Well, just stay away from his mailbox. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm sorry. I'm looking for Patrick. Yeah, you got him. What's up, Patrick? It's Nick Wagner. I'm having a hard time hearing you. Um, oh, hold on, do you, do you have just? Uh, do you have a second? I want to say congratulations. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What's up? Um, my name is Nick Wagner. I'm calling from. And I want to say congratulations. Every month, we have a uh, kind of a drawing we do for a guerrilla marketing campaign for a free bouquet of a dozen roses, a romantic, and uh, a couple's massage. And the idea here is that since we're a small company, we're competing with a lot of these big companies at budgets, we'd like to go ahead and offer you a free bouquet and this massage, and hopefully we'll earn your business. Keep the money here locally and uh, start a relationship with you. Why would you say that? I just got a good feeling this is a bunch of bull right now. I got a lot going on, and I just have a feeling I'm being set up for some something right now. When you say a lot going on, what do you mean? I just uh, some personal some personal business I got going on right now, and I just feel like this is uh, this is bull. Okay, how can I prove to you it's not? I don't think you can, to be honest with you, buddy. Okay, so you're gonna say no to a bouquet of a dozen romantic flowers? And a couple's massage, it's romantic. Yeah, I'm going to say no. <laughs> but, uh, I, I guess I don't understand. All right, well, first of all, are you in a relationship with somebody? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Is that why you don't want to do this? I just got a, I got a lot of shit on, man. I don't know. I, I, just don't, I don't know. I still don't really uh, totally think this is legit. Okay. So I will prove it to you by sending the flowers to... Your significant other? Are you a married guy? Are you dating? Are you single? I, well, I know I'm, you're not single. But engaged? I ain't married. <laughs> I'm not engaged either. <laughs> okay. So then, let me let me just send him, let me just send him to somebody important in your life that you think is worthy of a romantic display of flowers. Okay. Right. Right. So, so what exactly do you need from me then? All I need from you is the first name of the person you'd like as a plus one for the. A massage, and then we'll take a card for the flowers, and and then I'll get an address of where they're going, and nobody knows they're free except for you, and hopefully we earn your business. That's it. That really is it. All right, Vanessa. What the f***? Vanessa, the girl that you told me was a one-time thing and a mistake, and oh, she's crazy. You're sending her flowers? What are these, like, I'm sorry you're so crazy flowers? I think you're misunderstanding. I was going to send them to you. I knew I was getting f***ed with you. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, right. Wait, can, can I, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Give me, give me that logic real quick, Patrick. You knew you were getting messed with. What? So you decided to send them to somebody else to so go along with it. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I don't know. I just, I kind of knew something myself from the beginning, but, you know, I, I just figured that I'd, uh, I don't know. I was gonna send it. If, if it was legit, I would have sent him. If, if if it was real, I would have sent him. Come on. So you're. I I guess I just don't understand why you would say somebody else's name, even if you thought it was a joke. Yeah. You are so full. Have right you now. not, Patrick? May I ask you a series of just yes or no questions? Okay. Have you seen Vanessa while you've been dating Sydney? A little bit, but you know she just got in the yeah, way. Just of yes or no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you have <laughs> Did you have the the sex with her? That's none of your. Business, buddy, to be honest. Okay. Well, we, well, Sydney's. We, Sydney told us that you confessed the whole thing to her. Is that right? Yeah. That's typical. That sounds like Sydney. What does that even mean? Okay. Can I, wait, so, so now, why are you being mean to Sydney? I'm not. I just find that this is pretty um, unnecessary that we're doing this involving other people and our business. So, you know. Well, because I can't get a straight answer out of you, so I had to do something. What did you expect me to do? Just accept that you're 
some other girl behind my back. And well, you're still, it sounds the, like you're still seeing her if you're sending her flowers. If there are flowers, I really want to go to Sydney. So that's what was just something that it was a mistake. If it's oh, can I, I, Patrick, the glaring thing here is if it's over and it was over and has been over, why is her name even in your vernacular? Why are you saying it? True. Why is she at the top of your mind? And why would you want to screw with Sydney on such a sensitive subject if you knew that there was that this was done? I, I, I guess I don't really have an answer for that, man. You don't, don't have any because because you're still seeing Vanessa, aren't you? No, no, I'm not. Now, I, now I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, let you know you're being taped for a radio show. My name is Kane, and I'll ask you that question one more time because Vanessa's probably gonna hear this. Are you seeing Vanessa and Sydney? Uh, Vanessa. It sucks that you said that because I would really be willing to forgive you. You know, as long as you deleted Vanessa's emails, deleted her phone number, and told me you were just never going to see her again. Girl, no. Oh, hold no. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sydney. Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you realize what just happened? So he sent flowers to, to the girl that he said he wasn't seeing anymore, that he admitted to sleeping with, that he admitted to cheating with you on, that you found out with because he was keeping her a secret. Then he changed his story to, oh, I was going to send him to you. And when I tell him that yeah. this is going to be on the radio and there's a chance the other girl could hear it, now you're now you're just rolling over? I don't know. I mean, we just have a lot of history, and I just have this feeling that he's a really good guy, and this is all just kind of you like... History can be bad. The email says you've been together for four months. Yeah. I mean, that's a while to date one, and I just feel like as long as he gets Vanessa out from in front of him, that we could be really happy. You so mean out from underneath him? Not- I was going to say, <laughs> I, I don't think that's ever going to happen, and why would you trust him? He's, he's flipped the script like... Patrick, you flipped the script like three times in, in ten minutes. I don't know. I got nothing to say about that. I, it's, it was. I guess I was just confused. I guess you were confused. Yeah. So, oh, part, so who do you want to be with? Uh, Vanessa. Oh. Okay, forget it. Want more roses? iHeartCaneShow.com Keyword there some, roses. There's some that we just sit here and we look at each other and we put our heads in our hands and we're like, are Face you palm. are you kidding me? I mm-hmm. mean, it's much like the soccer player that went the man of the game <laughs> who wanted to thank his girlfriend. I mean, my wife. I mean, my girlfriend. I mean, my right, wife. I love very much. One of those. Oh. Something like that. I was confused. All right, so beautiful. If you want to sue a rose on someone you think may be cheating, go to caneshow.com to sign up. It's bad thing. Am I at the Kane Show? Hear more at caneshow.com. Hit the subscribe button before you go because I would love to have you here. It would be an honor. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I love you and I will see you all in the next one. Mwah.